day and what's happening everyone welcome back to clock talk tv i hope you enjoyed that little spicy intro obviously this is the start of the euros 2021 campaign and today i am gonna lead you it's actually half an hour away from the actual squad announcement gareth southgate named his 31 man provisional 33 man provisional squad last week he's obviously got to condense it down with obviously the european finals being last week as well and just in case that he was injured uh, any players got some injuries uh, he's decided to condense it down today. So I'm going to predict the seven players who I believe will be dropped for this year's European Championships and why. So I'll start with Aaron Ramsdale. Now, the idea of taking four goalkeepers or even three goalkeepers to a European competition with a maximum number of games you can play is seven. It's just unrealistic that you're actually going to need three goalkeepers. Now, I'd probably drop Ramsdale due to the fact that, you know, Ramsdale, Johnston... Both had really good seasons. Well, you could more, save more so Johnston. But Ramsdale and Johnson both been relegated. Dean Henderson's a bit inconsistent. And Pickford's Pickford. He's good with his feet, but he's hopeless with his arms. And that's all I'm going to say on Pickford. So I think we need to drop Ramsdale. Uh, but obviously I'd drop, if we had to drop another one, I'd probably pick jo drop Johnston and have Dean Henderson and Jordan Pickford as your backup goalkeepers. Now... My second and third option, it has literally been confirmed about a few hours ago that Jesse Lingard is set to be uh, not included in the European squad. So I'm going to count him as one and count Mason Greenwood as the other one. Obviously, Mason Greenwood has withdrawn from the provisional squad. But how on earth Jesse Lingard hasn't made this squad when he is the only person who has the highest person with the number of goals in this calendar year other than Harry Kane, he has the second number of ha uh, Premier League goals in this calendar year. He's been absolutely astonishing. And the fact that this Gareth Southgate guy doesn't want to take him based on the fact... Look, when we get to the Euros, right, I think people are saying as well... I'll, I'll, I'll link this to the fullback point. People are saying we should drop Trent. No, I think we should drop Trippier. People are saying drop Trent because Trippier won a La Liga. Kyle Walker won a Premier League. Uh, Reese James has just won a Champions League. What has Trent won? But Trent is consistency. Langard's consistency over uh, a longer course of time than Trent has been predominantly down to the fact that we need them in the Euros. If we don't have these players in the last few moments of a game where we're chasing a goal, for, to be honest, I would... I wouldn't want anyone other than Trent Alexander-Arnold to be the one who whips the ball in for Harry Kane. I wouldn't want anyone other than Trent Alexander-Arnold. Will I think he, I think he will take him based on the rumours that I've heard over the past few hours. Trent will be included. But the fact that Lingard won't be included is absolutely mad, bro. I mean, he, he's been astonishing. Obviously, Greenwood has withdrawn. Uh, top player. And, uh, yeah, I hope he can return even better and even stronger than ever before. Obviously, he's young players. Plenty of opportunities for uh, international competitions for him. Obviously, World Cup is next year. Let's hope. Fingers crossed he can get into that one. But Ben White and be uh, Connor Cody are the two that I would drop as centre-back options. Now, that is... Was it... So, Ramsdale... Trippier, Lingard, Greenwood, White and, and and Cody. The only reason I think this Southgate brother will pick Cody is because Wolves players are part of a back three. And I think he's only included Cody as part of this back three because he's set to play a back three in this Euros. And look, I don't like Connor Cody. Uh, I think I'd much rather have Godfrey in this system than have Connor Cody. Uh, I, I think... Ben Godfrey's an all-round better player. He's had a better player this season. He's been a better player this season. Connor Cody's a better leader, but I'd say Ben Ben Godfrey has had a bet, better season. And if you have Harry Maguire in the background, Jordan Henderson in the background, Harry Kane in the background, do you really need a, a fourth leader in that team? For me, I don't think so. So, I mean, I'm going to start. Uh, I, I, you need to have Godfrey in there and you need to have... Um, Obviously, Mings and whoever's going to be next to him. Although I do think Konza should have got in, but um, Ben White obviously he's had a he's he's had a good season for Leeds, uh, a good season for Brighton. Uh, he didn't play for Leeds actually. He played he was on loan. He went back to Brighton, but I don't think he's even the best English centre half in Brighton. I think Lewis Dunk is better, but yeah, that's why I drop uh, Ben White. And my final option. <laughs> is Ollie Watkins. Now, what a striker, but you can't have too many. I prefer Calvert-Lewin. I feel like he's he's a different type of option. He's a bit like a Peter Crouch. He's an awkward type player. You get the ball to him and he can use his physical advantage and physical presence to get beyond that first man. And I feel like as good as Ollie Watkins has been this season, I feel like there's plenty more opportunities like the 
the others that I mentioned in Mason Greenwood for him to really prove himself in an international competition. So I would drop him for this competition and uh, stick with Calvert-Lewin and Harry Kane. But that is um, the team that I think, oh, the seven that I think will be dropped. Let's wait and see to what he says. So what... Gareth Southgate has just picked this team. I, I will put the team on the top and just break it down for you. But this is absolutely crazy. Like some, not so much surprises, but others like seriously. Guys. So this is the squad for the Euro 2021. Gareth Southgate just released this. Or, well, it was actually released on the England official Instagram page. But Dean Henderson, Johnston and Pickford have the goalkeeping places. Uh, nothing uh, hard feelings with the I do agree with Dean Henderson should be in there. Jordan Pickford should be in there. Ramsdale should be dropped, obviously. And uh, Pickford's going to be playing. Trent Alexander on our bench, Chilwell, Connor Cody, Reese James, Harry Maguire, Tyron Mings, Luke Shaw, John Stones, Keen Trippy, and Kyle Walker. This guy has started four, he's going to play four right backs. Now hear me out, I think he will uh, probably put Trippier on the left hand side with Trent and Reese James as front runners for the right wing back spot. Uh, with Kyle Walker's right centre half, I only I'm only judging he'll play a back five with a lack of midfielders he's put there and the number of attack uh, number of defenders he's put in there, which only suggests to me that he's going to play a back five. The midfield: Jude Bellingham, Jordan Henderson, Mason Mount, Calvin Phillips, and Declan Rice. Sound midfield. Obviously, you need the leaders of Jordan Henderson and Harry Maguire in there, but I feel like Jordan Henderson and Mason Mount could be the legs, and uh, Declan Rice can be the guy to sit. Kind of mad, really, to think that James Will Prowse isn't picked. Now, I am so... I think this guy would probably make the 11, Gareth Southgate's 11, if he had picked him. Because this guy, he's a set piece tactician. He knows how to put, he knows where to play the ball, which is just mad. Like, he hasn't been included. Ooh, are we going to have Harry Kane on free kicks? But that's mad, bro. Ta and the attackers Dominic Carver Lewin, Phil Phone, Jack Reedus, Harry Kane, Marcus Rashford, Bakayo Saka, Jaden Sancho, and Raheem Sterling. Bit mad to think, actually, if Raheem Sterling is going in this squad. Like, seriously, this guy, and Marcus Rashford as well, you could argue, he's been given so many chances, so many chances, and you, you'd expect a player like Jesse Lingard, Mason Greenwood, Phil Foden, to really provide, but that is mad how he's not being included. Obviously, it is a surprise to see Ollie Watkins not get picked, but I think Dominic Carver-Lewin, like I said previously, he does offer a different uh, attacking option, and... Obviously, Bakayo Saka, he's a bit of a controversial one, but I'd uh, obviously keep him in there because he's a different type of play. He can also be a left wing back option as well. But that is the breakdown of the squad that he just released. Backs and on, on all my days, all, all four right backs. That's nearly a sixth of the squad, mate. That's nearly a sixth of the squad he's picked the right backs. Mate, I'll... Yeah, interesting squad. Do you think we can win the Euros? That is the big question. Now, obviously, a little bit of Liverpool content coming soon, so stay tuned to keep your eye out for that. Obviously, some transfer news regarding the Divock Origi, Mbappe situation, the Canate, Gini Wijnaldum, all that sort of stuff will be coming up soon. Stay tuned on the channel. Stay safe. Please be uh, well, and uh, I will see you all soon. Interesting, um, interesting uh, scouting from Gareth Southgate, but uh, hey-ho, come on. He's coming home, baby. He's coming home, lad.